Oh, right, right. Um, uh, this episode contains spoilers and junk like that, so turn away now if you, you know, stuff. What's up, everyone, and welcome to the As Seen on TV podcast brought to you by TVCaptive.com for Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 1, Episode 19, The Only Light in the Darkness. This week, Agent Ward is a complete dick. Coulson's cellist is finally revealed. Agent Ward is really a dick. Um, May realizes Coulson doesn't want her around and leaves. Um, Agent Ward is also a dick. I didn't expect him to read all that. <laughs> we finally get to see Blackout, and um, Agent Ward is still being a dick. So, but first, <laughs> let me, I, I'm, your, I'm your host, Dom. And with me, I have my co-host, Bird is a Bee. Bees! <laughs> it's bees. Bees! From Oprah. You AKA, get bees and you get bees. A.K.A. Cleo. Oh my god. And Mike, who wrote that lovely intro for our show notes. One, I didn't expect you to read all four Please. mentions of Ward being a dick. And then two, you said, but first, and my head com- auto-completed to, let me take a selfie. <laughs> I was gonna stop there. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> so. Get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What did you guys think of this episode? Ward's a dick. Yeah, he is. Yeah, I kind of got that just from our intro. He killed Pat Oswalt. That's not it's okay. Just, and I'm so mad. Mad, Scott. That's for not why just killing him. How could she have killed him? Did she not have any weapons on her? What kind of fucking shield trainee is she? God damn. I <laughs> shield training. She didn't go to the academy. Nah, but she trained and shit. She got a hacker. Have, you know, she's a hacker. Something. That's it. Gotta have something. You know. She's a hacker. I mean, what are you going to do, unfortunately? I mean, Ward is a specialist. He's an assassin. Like, yeah. I'm reading chat, and I probably should have slipped this into the intro. Agent Ward tries to use his dick. <laughs> <laughs> but fails. <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> oh. Oh, Our damn. chat room is just as completely ridiculous as we are, and I love it. I love it, too. Oh, we all insane. So that's gonna be my next intro voice. It's gonna be hedonism bot. Hedonism bot. So yes. we have we have Dude. agent agent Koenig. Is that how you pronounce his name? I believe that's how you pronounce his name. Um, he decided he's not gonna let anybody except for Coulson leave. So unless he puts them through orientation to make sure. Um, yeah. They're friendly with Shield or whatever. Make sure their objectives are true. Whatever the case is. Um, what were you guys expecting orientation to actually be? I, obviously, it was a euphemism for something, but I mean, I wasn't expecting a lie detector test. Now that I think back on it, it's like, wow, that actually makes sense, you know? Honestly, with it being... W- w- with what I've seen of Patton Oswalt's character, I thought it was going to be like orientation to a job here sit and watch this instructional video right right like a psa or something from the yeah. 60s i was like are they gonna sit around and watch a psa but obviously this is fury's secret base and and got to be something more in depth than that i just right. thought i was like orientation i, I was i was expecting it. one of the orientation videos from lost like that's ah. what i was expecting oh god so yeah. yeah but uh it ends up being a lie detector test and it was very interesting the way they, they showed the first, like, four tests. And, you know, it's it's uh, Fitz, Simmons, Sky, May. Did they show tripl- Triplet? Yes. yes. Yeah, okay, so Triplet. So he... it was five. Oh, my God. Wait, wait. He's the, the grandson of the Howling Commando. Yeah, I know. That's pretty awesome. I Man, missed that. I freaked out. I was like, yes! <laughs> because, honestly, I knew... Th- they had to tie in the Howling Commandos, not necessarily to S.H.I.E.L.D., but to the modern mm-hmm. timeline. Mm-hmm. I knew they had to connect, you know, have something of them. Right. And I'm so happy it's Triplet. I'm so happy. 
That's cool. It's pretty awesome. I gotta agree. I'm really happy. Yeah, it is. So, and then we finally get around to Agent Ward's test, and obviously that's the, the moment that we're building, because we know he's a double agent at this point. He's working for Hydra, and he's looking, he's already looking before he even takes the test, like, how am I gonna beat this thing? Fuck that guy. And, uh, it was not looking too good for him at first. No, at first it looked like he was, uh, Jade... Jolly well, you know. Jolly well fucked. Yes, S O L J W F. But he managed to we like he weaseled his way out of it by disrupting his baseline, which is actually a legitimate, you know, tactic for taking a lie detector test when you know you're not gonna pass. Right. Yeah, I just And I was so mad, I was like, Patton Oswald clear like I'm never gonna say that character's name. He's just Patton Oswald. He was clearly like, I don't fucking believe you. But he had the gun out, he cocked, gun ready to go. Head. I'm like, please just shoot him. <laughs> we knew it wasn't going to happen. <laughs> Did you see so the size of that dead. pin that he pulled out of his fingernail? That metal splinter? Oh god, that was such a long splinter. Oh my god. <sighs> Give me the heebie-jeebies. Yeah. Give yeah. me the not good willies. No, bad willies. No, but were you, were you guys surprised that he beat the lie detector test? No. Um, I'm not surprised he beat the lie detector test. I'm surprised he beat, you know, I'm surprised he beat Patton Oswalt. Yeah, but th this is a, a lie detector test that supposedly Black Widow couldn't even pass. Yeah, like, as he well, put it, you know, Fury wanted a lie detector that not even Agent Romanoff could beat. And, well, and did she? <laughs> like he'd tell me. Exactly. So we don't know that she didn't beat it. Very true. We have to assume. Yeah. So, I don't know, it's just like, we have, we have this, but the, the questions and the way Ward was answering them, he wasn't lying. He was very crafty about it. Yeah, a lot of them. Are you connected to Hydra? Yes. We're all connected to Hydra. I honestly, I think if he was that concerned that it's this is a secret base and only people who are true, you know, can be here, I I think he should have shot him because he was suspect. He should not have gotten past that test. Obviously, he was hiding something, but he seemed fairly satisfied when he said the the real reason he was there was for Sky. But he on but he was suspicious enough to hold a gun to his head. Right, I agree. If he's suspicious. <laughs> If you're suspicious enough to hold a gun to the head of the guy you're giving a lie detector test to, and then he, you know, even if he passes it at the end, I'm still not going to let that guy, clear, you know, blah, blah, free and clear. Yeah, no, exactly. I mean, it's just, no. Yeah. The, the, he, he, he may have passed the, uh, you know, I'm not going to kill you, but I definitely would not have given him a pass. Like, that's... No, he wouldn't have gotten a free pass. I would not have given the man a lanyard. Yeah, no. Definitely not. No lanyard for him. No lanyard for you. And then right after getting out of it, he had this little moment with, with Fitz. And it was almost like he was he was trying to say to Fitz, you know, tell uh, Simmons how you feel. And mm. yeah. Fitz was like, "What? where are you? Who are you? What have you done with him or whatever? And he's like, ah, just shut up or something like that. He like said something, he walked away, and he goes, that's mm -hmm. the person we missed. So, I don't know, it seems like uh, to a, a degree somewhere that Ward has broken down on an emotional level, has gained an emotional attachment to his team. No, hmm. he's gained an emotional attachment to Sky. So why would he have, I... have said that to, to Fitz, though? <laughs> because, well, he said, he's saying that to Fitz because he sees that's what he has to do with Sky or he's going to lose her. Which he's going to lose her anyway because he's fucking Hydra. Yes, and especially now that Sky knows. Yes. Which she should never have gotten on the plane with him. What the fuck was she thinking? Like, what did she get out of the bathroom? Like, she obviously got something to defend herself with. Yeah, she, well, I mean, she looked at that painting, or that picture of the skyline, and... She knew she was trapped, that's what that meant. Are you sure? Yeah, she's got nowhere to go. She's underground it's not like she can escape and run anywhere 
Yeah, but that was a very focused on the that picture shot to just be I'm trapped, you know. If if it if they wanted to say she's trapped with a shot, it would be a blank wall. That picture meant something mm, else. Well, no, because the picture they they said that earlier in the episode previously that it was on a rotating scene because yeah. um the, to try to make you feel like you had some form of uh not being isolated down here so right. looking at that picture is just a reminder that she really is isolated all right it's poopy and it's like she can't run out the front door there there's snow out there he can follow her footsteps like she is trapped there's there's nowhere for her to go was she gonna start crawling through the air vents like he's gonna find her there's nowhere she can go That's so a shame. she really had no choice she either kill him which she should have done. What, but he is a much more skilled operative than she is. I thought... It had to have been a way to get a gun. I mean, she just... Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think he's, I think he's breathed for too long. I think he's he needs breathed to stop for too long. He's breathed for too long. I think he needs to stop breathing. I don't disagree with you. <laughs> but yeah, he, he but at the same time, May. I think... I think uh, Sky did what she had to do. I don't think she had any yeah, other choice. Yeah, no, I know. I'm not saying... It is more my frustration that he's still walking around that... Yeah. I'm like, kill him. <laughs> Just end him. He Just needs do to it. die. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah. yeah. So, then, yeah. we... Very early on in the... Very earlier on in the episode, we see Marcus Daniels um, walking around at the boat pier, and uh, it's revealed that he's actually blackout and um, Coulson uh, becomes very concerned when he realizes that uh, the convicts of the fridge have escaped and are running around. Um, do you think uh, Blackout was defeated a little too easily? No. I, I don't know. I like their explanation for it, but I mean... I don't know, he's someone who could control Dark Force, which they went with the comics description as, you know, it's a source of cosmic energy and all that stuff. I don't know, it just seemed like, yeah, he has, you know, control of unlimited cosmic energy and he can do all kinds of fun shit with it. Uh, it I don't know, it just seemed too easy to dis defeat him. Yeah. With focused gamma rays. Which, yeah. yeah. So, it, it, yeah. Yeah. yeah stuff and things yeah yeah it's just i don't know I, I love i like the fact that they didn't try to explain how he got these powers or anything that they're every single person they don't have to spin an origin story onto um yeah. i like that they could just walk out into the middle here's this guy here's that do this and you just accept it we've come to the the point in this show where we can just accept that people do have powers of some sort and it doesn't always have to be some lab accident that created them turn them evil and they're using their powers for bad. We just accept that some people have them at this point. Very true. So, um, they they were trying to save the cellist, who we first found out, we, we heard, the, the first time we ever heard anything about the cellist was in the first Avengers movie. Yeah. Um, so now we finally get to meet her, uh, Audrey Nathan. Um, Fred. Yeah. Yes. Um, she was Coulson's former love, um, and he actually saved her from Blackout once before. She does not know Coulson is still alive. When she found out that he died at, in, during the Avengers movie, she was never informed that he survived or was rebirthed or whatever you want to call it. Well, she's, she's a civilian. Not even everyone in S.H.I.E.L.D. knows that Coulson's alive. Right, dude. Do uh, the Avengers even know at this point? I well, Thor definitely doesn't know, because Coulson wants to tell him himself. Right. Um, I assume I'm. I assume that uh, Captain America knows because he's level eight, level seven, Shield agent. So I assume he knows. I, yeah, I'm okay. also I'm also eleven level seven Shield agent. He would know at this point. I think, yeah, Cap, Cap knows. Um, or he would have heard something about it. Or, or logically he knows. He may not know. It's, it's possible. Um, if you want to call Philip Coulson right here, I have his card. 
<laughs> so. But yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Do, why do you think he, he restrained himself from not telling her when he was right there in front of her? Uh, he had given the, you know, she's moved on or whatever. Yeah. Excuse, I guess. It is an excuse, but also it's, he sees she's, you know, healing, and that him popping up's gonna hurt, because he's gonna have to go away. Like, he can't stay. Right. There's too much to do with Hydra and, and all that shit, and he's like, one day I'll come and I'll tell her. He'll be like, bitch, it'll be too late. Yeah. It, bitch, it'll so be too got... late. You'll be dead, or she'll be dead, or it'll or be 50 years. Or she'll be in love with someone else. I think the thing... He's putting it off. He's saying, I'm not going to tell her for her for her own good, but later I'll tell her, which is not good because he thinks that she's still, she'll still be available, which is a problem. I think if he's going to be like, I'm not going to tell her, he needs to realize the fact that the situation. But at the same time, it's been over a year now, right? Or has it been yeah. just a little past the, the yeah. closer to a year? I don't know exactly, but um, it's been over a year and she's still having dreams and seeing him places and stuff so she's clearly not over him but that doesn't mean that she's not going to date someone else or pursue something else right i mean what if she thinks that the guy playing the oboe in her orchestra or whatever oh, is oh. fancily attractive i just thought of a random instrument the oboe, <laughs> the oboe 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 um, so... Hobo Hobo. Yes. The Obo Hobo. New supervillain coming next fall. Yes. Um, I don't know. We talked briefly about Fitz and, and Simmons, uh, the jealousy that's going on. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know, when... At, at Pallyfest this year, uh, there, there was a panel, and I know we discussed this actually just recently, maybe last episode, the episode before... We that, did talk about the last episode. Yeah, the Fifth and Simmons, uh, they, the car the actors that play them, uh, felt like they had a brother sister relationship. It almost seems like it's going a completely different direction now. Well, they said they're playing it as a brother sister relationship because they haven't gotten any other direction. Yeah. Right. I. You know what? I. I don't know. I really hope that it's not a. I secretly love you. You're my best friend. Thing. Because it's um, too predictable. Because I hate that. <laughs> but, but they seem like they'd be an awesome couple. You know what? I don't... They're like best friend sidekick buddies, you Tweedledee know? Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Yeah, exactly. You have Tweedledee and Tweedledum dating each other. Man, that's fucked up. I'm, I'm, I, I, don't, I don't care. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with two men dating each other in this day and age. No, but Tweedledee and Tweedledum are weird, so... <laughs> Okay. So are we. We're very weird. We're all weird. None of us. None of us should procreate. We should just... I don't know. I'm really tired, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you have some more coffee? It's gone. I got no more. Did, oh. did you draw, like, Agent Coulson on the back of your mug? No, I, I did not draw Agent Coulson. It's still, it's still Castiel. Castiel. But what's on the back? There's nothing on the back. It's well, blank. There could be an Agent Coulson back there. No, because I have to hold it. Because if see, look, it, it, it all just comes off if I touch it. You're killing Castiel. I am. He's dead already. Sorry. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> He's dead on the inside already. Yeah. I don't know. He used the excuse that he doesn't like change. Do you think she mm -hmm. bought that? Uh, I think it's true. He doesn't like change. I think, I think that's true. But I also think there's this guy that's come in. It's ruining the dynamic. Whether whether it's a love thing, why he feels that way or not, it's it's a guy rolling up, messing with the dynamics. <laughs> He's just rolling up. He's just rolling up. Roll out. My oh, God. Well, I guess he sees, you know, hey, this guy's smart. Really smart. He actually knows, you know, smart people things like we do. Yeah. And he's a specialist. Yeah. So he's got a plus one over me right now. Yeah. 
Ooh. Whether or not it's because he loves Gemma or not, um, it's definitely a... He, jealousy. Yeah, jealousy. Because he's smart. SMRT. You have to explain things to him because he already knows all this stuff. He's yeah. Just like, he... I'm used to explaining this to the dumb ones. It's like, I'm used to Ward being a dumbass. Which Ward is a dumbass. Yeah, right, exactly. Is... So he's like, I'm used to having to explain all of this. In yeah. case you don't know what stuff. this means... It's I know a, what it means. You, it's, it's you a fracture. Know what it means, it's a fracture to the eye. So, yeah. That whole little scene there. But, um... I don't know. And then... We had May. She just kind of left. Where did you guys think she was going? Did, did she even know where she was going? Oh, I thought, you're like, why are you leaving? I mean, yes, May, you're, you know... You're the, the badass of this operation. If anybody's going to survive in the Canadian wilderness, it's you. Now, note, the Canadian wilderness, all snowy like that, I expected them to be in, like, the Northwest Territories or, you know, the Yukon Territories or somewhere really snowy or northern Alberta. She was in Ontario. I mean, well, yeah. Well, okay, wait. Snowy. Where is Ontario? North of us. When you of go... Us. When you go over, yes. When you go past, maybe Buffalo, she was up north and walked her. Oh yeah, yeah, northern Ontario. Northern life. Ontario is snowy, but for some reason, I just expected not there. Yeah. But I don't know. So did her mother pick her up in Canada, or did her yes, mother pick her up it was in Ontario. the Ontario. U.S.? But her mother said, you know, five hundred miles. And like, I don't get a thank you. It's too late. It's like I just drove five hundred miles to pick your ass up in Canada. Because she had pencil plates. Yeah. So I love Mama May. Mama May is awesome. Yeah, I was just gonna ask, what you, what you guys thought of her? Mama May Mama is cool. May. Um, I liked Mama May. My dad. Well, we were we were trying to figure out what organization she worked for. Cause she said my organization didn't fall apart. Yeah, my agency's still intact. So I'm like, oh, what does she work for? She worked for the CIA, the FBI. Was what is she? And NSA. My dad, my dad uh, thought maybe it was it was uh, oh Department H is that the the thing? Yeah, the it was the, the Canadian flight team. Right. Um, my dad thought maybe Department H. You know, maybe it's something affiliated with Shield. Maybe. I honestly don't know who she worked for. I'm assuming it was another spy agency because, as she put, you know, I still have contacts. Yeah. Exactly. So I mean, if I if we're going staying in the Ameri- you know, the U.S., I'm thinking CIA or NSA. And then yeah. she did say that uh, they were contacting Maria, and she goes, "I always liked Maria." Hill. Or I always like Hill, whatever. Yeah. Um, so. Well, they didn't say Hill. They just said Maria. Maria. So yeah. So yeah, it's Maria Hill is is who they were referencing, obviously. But it's got to be. She's got to work for some kind of organization where she's in touch with um, Agent Maria Hill. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. what other agencies do we know of that have contact with S.H.I.E.L.D.? Stark Industries. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean... Because yeah. that, that was the end of Captain America. It showed her applying for a job at Stark, right? And that Tony is- Stark, mm-hmm. is, he's located in Manhattan, right? Well, he's located everywhere. Yeah. Well, Stark Industries, think- rather, is, is Manhattan, correct? No, it's California. Well, that... Stark Tower is in Manhattan. Yeah. Which is now the Avengers Tower. Yes. Right. So, I mean, he's located everywhere. He's located everywhere because he's rich as fuck. So, would, would California or, yeah, or whatever, would that be 500 miles Beverly from Hill. Ontario? No, California would be further... No, California would be 3,000 miles from Ontario. Yeah, so, it can't, on... it can't be Stark. So why can't it be Stark? I'm thinking DC. Wait, what's DC? What are you talking the about? The agency that she works for. If Stark, oh. if Stark's in California, oh Stark no, I don't, is I, who in. she used to work for. I don't think she works for anybody anymore. I think she's retired. That's why the way she put it, I still have contacts. Oh, I thought you said her agency didn't fall apart. That's what I remember well, her saying. Too. Well, that's what she. That's what she said. My agency didn't fall apart. So I was under the impression that she's not completely out of it, but she has contacts from a shield. Is the way that I I inter- interpreted that. Mm. I don't know. So, yeah, no. Well, I guess we'll find out. Five hundred miles seems like DC to me. 
That's that's about where that places well, it. Pennsylvania is yeah. 500 miles her, from Ontario. Her license is... plate said Pennsylvania. Oh, did it? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I said this already too. I must have missed that. So. Yeah. So she's she's more than likely from Pennsylvania. Okay. Pennsylvania. And I mean, even, no, no matter Sorry. where, like the head building of whatever organizations there are, they have satellites. You know, there are there are buildings all over for each organization. Yeah, that's that's true. That's true. So we have three episodes left. Three. Yes. Three episodes. To three kill. weeks oh, left. We we were like complaining that the show was taking forever on its many breaks that you know and it seems like now at this point twenty two episodes is like come and gone like nothing. Yeah. So I know. That's I, because we blocked out all the episodes that made us gag, so <laughs> <laughs> that that wasn't a whole lot. That was just some of the earlier ones. Yeah, that was a but lot of the earlier ones. I still think they were very necessary though. Yeah, they... some of them were necessary, but there are villains from the beginning that we have not even heard mention of since. And that's not a bad thing. I just I just think they th that setup just took way too long to get to the main plot. I agree, too. I think they should have spent more time focusing on the main plot and then, you know, doing all this stuff. I, just... I, I can understand that, but it's going to look so much better um, when... They come around season two and these villains creep their heads back up and we're like, oh, know, it... season one, we saw them. This is going to be awesome. And it, it was showing you that they had a bigger plan from the beginning. Yes, but it seems to me that them, it's a new show. They don't know if it's going to survive. And them mm. dicking around in the beginning... Yeah, it's but... It's like a bad choice I, for a new show. No, I do agree. Um, but I think they're gunning with the fact that they were going to be given two, two seasons at least. It's yeah. the way it seems to me. Uh, because of all these tie-ins with the movie and how massive the Hydra tie-in was. Yes. Um, okay. I think they knew things were going to turn around. Um, even if the first half of the season completely flopped... I think they knew exactly what they were doing the whole time. That this would be the defining moment of the show. This is what people would care about and would carry it on to be renewed. And I think that's also why we haven't heard any word of a renewal uh, whatsoever. I don't think we're going to hear it until the show actually airs all its episodes. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, like I said, we have three episodes left. Uh, episode 20, 21, and 22. So, episode 20 is called Nothing Personal. Um, in it, uh, just when there's no one left to trust, uh, Agent Maria Hill from the Avengers and Captain America of Winter Soldier returns to team up with Coulson as S.H.I.E.L.D. is being destroyed around them. Yummy. But it seems like she's rolling up with General Talbot. So, mm -hmm. is she that is. good? Is that bad? Because um, Talbot's good cop, bad cop. Yeah, really. Talbot's a bit of a you know wild gun. Yeah, I don't think this she's is exactly. First, to ask questions later. Yeah, good. But see, with with Hill there, um, she'd keep him in ha in, in check. Yeah, but she that that would be so if she was still you know, level 9 S.H.I.E.L.D., but S.H.I.E.L.D. doesn't exist. Why would uh, a member of the military have any reason to follow orders from a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent? True. Unless Stark worked some kind of magic. Yeah, maybe. I don't think... I, I think she. they just brought her in for whatever. Stuff. Yeah. I don't know. Erica also points out in chat um, that... This show is fully owned Disney IP, uh, intellectual property, uh, yes. on Disney's network. So it doesn't necessarily have a risk of being... They could have had uh, a backdoor deal for two seasons uh, yeah. that they're not willing to discuss. Mm -hmm. um, and if they knew that going in, they could do whatever they want. 
and yeah. it wouldn't have mattered. And just That's the fact true. that they had a plan, I, I, it just seems better to me. I can understand if frustration of if you're looking at it as a one season show. I'm, I'm also looking at it as a fan. I'm a fan of the show. It's a very good show. But everyone I talk to that is a fan of the Marvel Universe says, oh, I heard S.H.I.E.L.D.'s a piece of shit. And I'm like, well, gah. And it just, it, it, I'm very mad that they can't get over the beginning of it to then love the show. But then it's also like, you can't get over the beginning of it. And, like, do you have to get over the, I don't know. I'm just, it, it, it makes me It was slow. Mad. Like, it me was and slow, Mike but... had to defend it to, to Alex. Yeah, we did, actually. I was just like, but, but it's so good. <laughs> you, you don't you gotta understand. Get, you gotta get past that little intro. And, and it's... I, I tell that to everybody. I, I've had to repeat myself at least four or five times to people about that. And everybody's like, oh, yeah, maybe I'll... You know, exactly. And they well, I'll do. watch it when it comes out. There on are that. people who should be fans of the show that aren't because of how it started. Yeah. Yes. I do agree. It was a slow start. Uh, but for... Blows ass. <laughs> for fans of Whedon, for fans of Marvel, I think there were enough little tidbits along the way to keep you interested. Like, we've been talking about the the Firefly uh, reference in Season 2. Like, that small little uh, device that they used. It was just really cool to see season that. Season 2? Or Episode 2. Oh, God. I was like, what? Sorry. Yeah. No, episode two, when they use the, the staff, mm -hmm. that was right out of Serenity. So, yep. um, like, uh, there was references, I remember we were talking about Dollhouse. So, like, there was a was lot... Was there a Dollhouse reference? Why don't I remember this? It was like the end of, well, I want to say episode five, six, somewhere around there. It was like the, the the closing scene. I remember we had a lengthy discussion about... What, what happened in that episode? I don't even remember which episode it was. Yeah, I, I don't know. Oh, Mike was the one that brought it to our attention. And you know what? I don't even remember it. I gotta see which episode we were talking about. Um... And I honestly think that... And it's just the little I... the villains that they've been... Hinting at too. No, I know, I know. All the villains they've used are, are can canonical uh, Marvel villains and stuff, and it's it's nice to see. But also, then they got shit away, and we didn't see them, and we didn't even see them when they broke out. Everybody, you know. This is true. From from the fridge, so I feel like it was a setup for something way down the line, and I don't know. But oh god, I was gonna fucking say something. Uh, I was gonna say, uh, it ran away from me. I'm sorry. Hmm. I'm trying to go back through all our notes. So am I, but I don't. I don't even remember honestly. Our episode, ever making... our episode three notes and our episode four notes are missing. Four is blank and three is just gone completely. Four is blank. Uh, <laughs> so it's probably one of those two episodes, to be honest. Yeah, probably. All right. Probably. Sure. It's weed, and of course he's going to reference his other works. Yeah. Yeah. He's been using how many of this? I'm waiting to see Nathan Fillion guest appear in an yeah. episode. It'll probably happen. He's busy with Castle now. Well, supposedly he's guesting in Guardians of the Galaxy. Sweet! But, um, there's no idea who he's going to be. There was a fan theory that he would be guesting in an end credit scene is Doctor Strange and I just thought oh my god if he ever play if they somehow managed to get him to play Doctor Strange <sighs> god, that's even better than John Hamm oh my god I know right but <gasps> that's amazing oh yeah, that would be great a couple people are saying he's not serious enough or like intense enough for Doctor Strange and I'm like he's but... a good actor I yeah. mean if you want to see intense and serious look at Firefly yeah, watch Firefly. Val is a fully rounded character. Like, he has the most serious of moments. Exactly. He's perfectly serious enough. Yeah. I think it'll work. It's, I mean, honestly, what people are seeing now is, is his role as, as Castle. Right. Chances the, are... Entirely silly role. I mean, come on. Chances, though, realistically, this is like a pipe dream. Of course. Here. But if it happens... But it's the Whedonverse, so... It... 
if it happens. Anything I, is possible in the Weedenverse. <laughs> I actually just looked right now for, um, uh, it says, is Agent Coulson a doll? And it was whatever episode he had the, uh, the Tahiti flashbacks. They were kind right. of alluding to the fact, um, from Dollhouse that, that his memories were inserted in and stuff like that. Yeah. Which obviously wasn't the case, but just the fact that that episode was referencing it was, yeah, yeah, was yeah. a clear, you know, thing at, at Whedon's previous work. So, yeah. uh, Cleo, where can the people find you? Was that everything? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, you can find me <laughs> Cleomoto, Twitter, Tumblr, and Pinterest, and Vine, and all that good stuff, and you can find me on Twitch at the Cleomoto. Sorry, I f- could talk about this for hours. I know. We all, we all could. We definitely could. Mike. But nobody's going to have the attention span of hours. No, no. Sorry. Mike, Probably not. You're where right. can the people find you talk for hours? Well, I don't talk for hours on oh, Twitter. Where is- they can f- find me on Twitter at Philadren, T-H-I-L-L-A-D-R-E-N. If they catch me streaming something on another channel, then they'll you know maybe hear me talk for hours. But. Hmm. You can catch me on Twitter at Phenomenon, P-H-E-N-O-M-E-D-O-M. You can find us all <clears throat> on tvcaptive.com, as well as slash ASO TV podcast on Facebook, Gmail, G+, Twitter, and, of course, right here on YouTube. Leave us some feedback, comments, things you'd like us to cover, things we may have missed. Or uh, Plus. or just comment on whatever Cleo's holding this ep- particular episode. True. I try to make it a different thing every episode. Yeah. So, uh, till next week, which I cannot wait for. See you guys later. <laughs> Laters. Or it's gonna bite it. Dun, season dun, finale. Dun. Well, it's gonna bite the dust. They're not gonna kill Ward until season finale, I think. No, he'll live for season two. No, he won't. Of course he will. Ward dies. Hashtag Ward dies. Hashtag no. Hashtag R.I.P. Ward. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hashtag no. No.